What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and y'all, you do not have to believe in tarot, but do not exclude yourself from the message because this shit can actually happen. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All my information will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cash app, leave a comment, and let me know. Y'all, I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing the signs as a category. So we're going to do, and I haven't done this before. I'm only taking two. Now, I haven't done a re readings like this before. I usually do the individual signs or all signs as a collective. But I said, let me try something a little different. And I'm going to do all of uh, all of the categories as one. So again, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm going to do a reading for you all. And what's crazy is I have all of those in my chart. I have heavy, heavy Capricorn in my chart. My Jupiter, my Saturn, my North Node is in Capricorn. My moon sign is Virgo. My rising sign is Taurus. And I think, hold on. My Saturn, my Uranus, that's what it is. My Saturn, my Uranus, my Jupiter, and my North Node is all in Capricorn. And then my, again, my moon sign is Virgo. And then my rising sign is Taurus. So I have a lot of earthiness to me, but I feel more... Aquarius, I feel more, you know. Hmm. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You all could be experiencing some of the same situations, just different circumstances. And again, you all as a collective generally tend to share certain characteristics and traits. So this may apply if it does. Take it and do what you need to do with it. If it doesn't, just take something and learn from it because it could happen to you. Now, you could be dealing with somebody who y'all could have been a couple, but both of y'all decided to leave. Both of y'all decided to walk away from a situation. I feel like somebody was like, you know what, you a hoe and, and, and I got to go. And the other person was like, bitch, you a hoe and I got to motherfucking go. And somebody is like, well, what if I'm not a hoe? The other person I feel like is like, well, what if I'm not a hoe? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like a backwards and forwards. I feel like you all feel the same way. It's like we both decided to leave. We both decided to come together. We both decided to leave. But somebody might feel like somebody is a hoe or somebody might be into somebody heavy set. Somebody likes heavy set women or men. See, it say no skinny hoes. I feel like somebody might be in Dallas or in Texas, in the state of Texas, because this picture was taken in Texas. As a matter of fact, this picture was taken in Texas too. I was in Journey's shoe store. But yeah, I feel like um, both of you decided to leave, but I feel like weight was a... It wasn't an issue. It was one of those, somebody likes heavier set people. I feel like somebody didn't really care for somebody to be small anyway. Now that don't have to be for everybody, but I feel like somebody's just like, well, you too small, you too skinny. I, I, I need some somebody with some weight. Or if that's not the case, somebody is, I feel like this is not just a situation with weight. Somebody says, you know what? You don't got enough money to to, to, to be with me. Like you can't match my money energy. So you don't need to be with me. Like, I feel like somebody feels like that. Yep. This is a karmic relationship. This is a karmic relationship. Somebody is doing what? Chasing. We got the chaser. Somebody is chasing a karmic relationship. So you're chasing somebody that you know ain't good for you. Or somebody is chasing you that 
I feel like somebody is, is, is chasing a karmic relationship. It's like, hey, hey, you're toxic. Wait, wait for me, toxic. Toxic, come back. The skinny person. The skinny. <laughs> the person who somebody is like, you're not, you not big enough for me anyway. Like, you don't have enough weight for me. Like, the other person is like, come back. I can get bigger. I can get fatter. I can get thicker. I can get more obese if that's what you want. Somebody is 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 chasing a karmic relationship. This is the type of thing. This is the type of situation where a narcissist will be like, you know what? I don't really want to fuck with you. I want to fuck with somebody else. And you're like, no, 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 don't leave me. Pulling a Pisces type of energy because this is the type of shit Pisces will do. They'll chase after somebody who don't want to fuck with them no more. So I feel like somebody don't want to fuck with somebody no more, Earth Signs. Somebody don't want to fuck with somebody. And one thing I do, I've learned about Earth Signs, you all tend to gravitate towards people that, that, that fuck you over. You all love holding on to people that do wrong to you. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I can attest to that because I'm one of those. I kind of cling to people who've hurt me, but I've learned my lesson as an air sign. I give, and when I find out that you done fucked me over, I'll let it go. But earth signs, in a sense, and it's a little bit harder for me, like I said, because I have a lot of earth in my chart, and it's very hard for me, but I noticed that a lot of time, you all want the same type of person. You all want the, it's not about money because you all have money. Earth signs are the ones that are usually really, really good with money. And you all get with people who kind of match your energy. You all get with people who may have what you have. Like Capricorns, for example, Capricorns generally like to deal with people who are older. At least, okay, so the girls like to deal with people that are younger. The Capricorn men, I feel, like to deal with people who are a little bit older because they're established they have their shit together. The girls, on the other hand, are like kind of in reverse. They like dealing with people who are a little bit younger than them. Me personally, I don't deal with younger. I love me an older motherfucker. So, you know, I'm probably leaning more towards the masculine because I'm very much masculine. So I need somebody who's on my level. But the opposite to that is that I generally tend to deal with people who have less than I do. You, you, you see the correlation? You know what I'm saying? Taurus people, on the other hand, they love holding on to people that hurt them. So people that fuck them over, it's like, well, I want you to see that you have my support. And it's kind of like, I'm mad at you, but I still want to help you. I still want to love you. Virgos, on the other hand, Virgos are very smart. And it's kind of like, I'm, I'm going to deal with you, but I don't want to deal with you. Like, I'm going to keep you right here, but I don't fuck with you. So you're going to stay right here. You're going to stay right here with me, but I don't fuck with you. I'm not looking at you. I ain't talking to you. Fuck you. But you won't let them go. You got them close to you. And it's like, you'll go off and do whatever you need to do. And you'll come home to this person every day. And it's like, as long, just as long for Virgos, just as long as they're there. Like you can be living in a house and not talk to them. But as long as they in that motherfucking house somewhere, you'll deal with them. As long as that person is somewhere in your energy and Virgos are the type of people, it's like, if you don't want me in your life as a husband or a wife, then you're going to have me as a girlfriend or a boyfriend. If you don't want me as a girlfriend or a boyfriend, bitch, you're going to have me as a friend. If you don't want me as a motherfucking friend, you're going to have me as a motherfucking associate. If you don't want me as an associate, bitch, you're going to have me as a motherfucking ghost because I'm going to be woo around this bitch. Okay, so Virgos are kind of like, I don't give a fuck how you feel about me. I really don't want you, but I want you here. As long as you in my energy, bitch, I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't care. I just, just stay here and I'm gonna be here. Taurus, they like to clean the people that fuck them over and hurt them. Capricorns are somewhat of the same, but Capricorn can kind of divert their attention to work. So it's like, if it don't work out with me and you, bitch, I don't give a fuck because my work is, is it comes first. So whoever this is, earth sign, you are chasing after somebody who is a karmic. 
This is somebody that you that triggers you, somebody that you feel like you have a, a contract with. Because a lot of you all are financial based, Capricorns especially. Okay. This is somebody that you feel like you have a contract with, or maybe you were in a marriage with. Because the 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 earth signs, you all are very much relationship people. You all are the more relationship based because. You all are usually the ones who get married. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn are usually the ones out of the zodiac signs that get married. Now, Scorpios do as well. And, and partially Cancers, but all of the earth signs and Scorpios, I feel like, are the ones that end up getting married. You all are the, the, the signs that get married. Now, you may be right now going to court with whoever this is. Somebody is going to court possibly for abuse or so that somebody don't get something else out of them. Yeah, somebody wants some money. Somebody, I feel like somebody is trying to get somebody for their money. Child support is what I'm picking up. Then we got kid shoes here. So this could be your, your baby mother or your baby father. This could be an ex-husband or ex-wife, a situation where kids may have been involved. But I feel like somebody is going to court for a situation that has to do with work. So the feminine energy may be going to court to get child support from somebody who ain't shit. It's like maybe you were involved with somebody and you're trying to go to court for child support or you're going to court to get some type of money from somebody. I know a couple of people in this situation as well. Most earth signs have children. I don't really know too many earth signs that don't have children because again, you all are very much family people, but you all have, so you all like to hold on to so much shit. Like you all like, it's like you want the all in one. You want the family, the all of this, but you want to take the bull, you really want to take the bullshit too. And sometimes the bullshit outweighs the good. But in this situation, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like shit. Um, somebody is chasing a karmic situation. Somebody is trying to get somebody to pay some money or somebody is doing something. Maybe something happened at work. This could be a work situation. How did I know that this, I swear to, I should have said it. I should have said it. I knew this card was going to come out. I swear to God, 222 is the time it is right now. I swear for God, I knew this card was going to come out. I knew this card. I literally just had a, a mental picture that popped up in my head of this card as I was shuffling. I knew this motherfucking card was going to come out. I knew it was. Out of every card in this deck, I knew this card was going to come out. I swear to God, y'all. It says, learn your zodiac signs. And you see that there are kids here. You got a Capricorn. Because what I was saying in my mind was, maybe you need to learn one of those signs. And it has kids on it. You got my daughter, who's a Taurus. My nephew, who's a Leo. My other nephew, who's an Aquarius. And my niece, who's a Capricorn. So you could be dealing with one of these signs, earth signs. But I, I I knew this card was going to come out. You need to learn the energies that you having kids by, or you need to learn. You need to learn about who you're dealing with. Learn their zodiac sign. A lot of y'all be like, oh, that's not, that's not, no. no. And a lot of y'all be out here talking about signs and stuff like that. But then when somebody try to tell you about it, you don't really want to listen or you don't believe in it too tough. Listen, y'all better start learning these energies y'all around. Something is about to end. Something is about to end. 
Something is about to end. You're chasing something that's that's a dead end. See somebody saying, fuck you. Somebody is saying, fuck you, and you trying to chase them. They like, fuck you. I ain't giving you shit. And you steady trying to chase them. Or maybe this person, maybe somebody is trying to keep somebody from going to court. But I don't really feel like whoever this is cares. Somebody here don't care. Somebody here don't care. If you worried about your money, your money will be fine as long as you do what the fuck you're supposed to do. But don't, 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 don't be out here playing with this energy. Stop trying to hold on to something that you know is not good for you, y'all. Y'all have to learn to stop doing that shit. Is it only takes from you? It don't help you. And y'all know this. Any project you engage in will be well worth your while. So if there was something that you wanted to attach yourself to financially to make you some money, then do it. Because somebody is going to need it. You got good news coming in. Don't fuck this up, Earth Signs. Look, what I just say, life is a continuous lesson. You about to get some good news. You about to get some good news. Don't fuck this up. You might get good news when it comes to this court situation or whoever this, this, this karmic person is. I feel like something is coming to a head. Something is coming to an end. But you really need to learn about who it is that you're dealing with. Let's jump into the tarot. Bottom of the deck. Hangman, Pisces, could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like somebody is stuck. Like they're in a situation that I feel like they don't feel like they can get out of. It might be a past situation that's resurfacing or hasn't quite come up yet. Or hasn't quite been fully dealt with. Yeah, but something may be about to go in your favor. Something may be about to go in your favor. I feel like the you could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. I'm getting art. Somebody might be very artsy. Yeah. So there is another situation that may present itself that might take your time. And I feel like I love this card. So whenever I see it, I'm going to pull it out. Um, somebody has hope that you're going to. Okay. So there. So let's say. Let's say. Earth signs, you're fighting somebody in court. There's somebody else here that wants to give love to you who's hoping that, hey, maybe me and you can work things out. I want to work things out with you. Um, I want to work things out with you. Like somebody, somebody sees you and wants to pee their pants. It's like, oh my God, is this person really wanting me? Is this person really... Could I, could I have this? Uh, I hope I can have this with this earth sign. Like I want this shit with this earth sign, but I know that they going through some things and they might be stuck. Somebody here wants to, wants to give love to you. This could be a friend with benefits. They're just waiting for your situation to change so that you can start focusing on them. 
because you're not really focused on them. I feel like you're focused on what, what negative is going on and whatever this court case is about. Yeah, something is about to come to an end and I feel like you're going to win your case. If you're going to court, you're going to win your case. I really feel like you got some good news and some, some communication may be coming in for you. Something good. And I feel like once this is over with or when this dies out, you'll be able to get better acquainted with whoever this person is because somebody really, really wants to talk to you. But I feel like they can't talk to you until a situation is over and done with. Yeah, see, somebody wants to give love to you. It could be a water sign. Somebody really wants to give love to you or they want to show you that they can be the person for you. But I feel like you're kind of stuck in another situation. And I feel like you know that this other person wants you, but I feel like your, your attention is elsewhere. Yep. Somebody's afraid. Somebody's afraid. I feel like somebody is afraid that they'll fuck up this good relationship here. I feel like somebody... Hmm. Okay, so hold up, because... Somebody is really, a somebody is afraid to give love to somebody. They're not expressing it, but whoever this is, okay. So whoever this is, they might be scared of what you might do. It's like somebody wants to, I feel like there's somebody here who wants to give love to you and they're hoping, okay, so maybe this is the person that you're taking to court. Because it's kind of like I'm fucking you over, but I'm hoping that you'll still love me enough to let me do this. Like somebody, I feel like something is about to go in your favor. And this person may hope that you are friends with benefits with them. Because somebody is very much paranoid and they're not saying anything. Like somebody in their mind, they're afraid as fuck of giving you something giving love or attention or giving their emotions to you, they're afraid to do it. I feel like either they're afraid to do it because they think you're a player. They know what you're going through. So it's like, well, shit, if you fucking with me and you dealing with that, then I don't know. So somebody might feel like you're either a player or you might feel like they're a player or they're coming in with that type of energy. Somebody who's not trying to take a relationship serious. And it's kind of like, so this could even be a situation where it's like, I'm coming in to play with you, but I see you got a whole lot of shit going on. So it's like, damn, should, should I, should I come in? It's like, if you was dealing with a lot of shit and you met somebody and you showed them how much you wasn't playing with them, like, okay, let me not confuse y'all. So let's say me as a, 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 a Aquarius and you're an earth sign, right? And you're going through a lot of shit, but you're not really playing no games, Earth signs. Like y'all not playing with whoever this is. And so I, as an Aquarius, I come into your life with the idea of, uh, I'm going to probably play around with this person. I ain't going to really take him serious and shit. Like, you know, I'm just not really in the energy of taking this motherfucker serious. I'm not really in the energy of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm going to just come and play with him, whatever. And then I meet you. And then you like, this bitch over here thought they was going to fuck with me. And, I, and I'm sitting here like, oh, shit. Uh, do I know what I walked the fuck into? Like, I came in here to play with you, but shit, I see how the fuck you move. Uh, I don't know if I really want to play with you or not. You know what I'm saying? And somebody isn't really expressing it, but they paranoid. Somebody is very much paranoid of giving love, like either them or you. But somebody here is stuck. Somebody, somebody's situation is about to change for the better, I feel like. So it's like you might get into this situation with somebody, somebody that you like, 
somebody that you were maybe hoping to be able to deal with. And then they come in and give you love, but then they're going to be scared because I feel like maybe they feel like you're going to be a player. It's like, yeah, like somebody is going through all of this shit. Ain't no way they're going to take me seriously. This person is going through this and they acting like it's not no way they're going to take me seriously. And somebody wants to express the relationship that they want with you, but it's like, uh, I don't know if you a player or not. I don't, somebody don't know if somebody is a player. Somebody don't know if this is going to be taken seriously or not, or somebody is just very much confused, scared. They don't know what the fuck to do. Earth signs? Mm. You don't, you better. 